Good morning, it's MJ, and this is a general reading for the collective using my latest deck. This is the Guardian of the Night Tarot. And if you thought you missed the pre-order cutoff, you have till Friday. I'm not getting the files over to the printer till then, so I figured might as well extend it. Um, but keep in mind, this deck, I will not have extras. Um, unlike the Grimalkin Tarot, where I was just shy of the price break by a, um, a couple hundred, so I ordered that extra, um, extra hundred, a couple hundred. This one, I've already hit the uh, the price break, so I'm just going to order what is reserved. There won't be that many extras. I'll get a handful just in case a couple of the decks are missing cards, but really this is going to be one that if if you don't pre-order it, you're going you're to have to wait for the, the next round. So let's get started. And I think my allergies are going nuts today. Um, it's been really cold and really <laughs> rainy here. Oh my gosh, you would think it was March. Okay, let's get started and see what animals come through. The first card I'm going to pull is the energy that we're working with today. This is the energy that is available to us at this moment. Oops, you just flew on out, didn't you? <clears throat> well, okay then. We're starting off our day with the Seven of Cups. And, you know, this is um, a time to dream, to you know, time to stare up at those stars if you're so lucky to have a cloudless night. Um, and envision what is possible for you, right? I mean, this is about dreaming big. It's also about staying grounded. You know, yes, it, it's really tempting to let your mind wander and fantasize about what can be. But without action, without staying connected to earth, you know, you kind of lose yourself in the dream. So keep in mind, dream big. When we dream big, we allow our creativity to explore what's possible for us. When we dream big, we open up the door for more things to come in. You know, if you, if you set the bar, you know, kind of low for yourself, if you're not dreaming big, you'll get, you'll get that. You'll get what you want. But if you dream really big, like excessively big, you may not reach your goal, but you're going to reach a lot higher than you would if you just kind of stuck to what, you know, society says is possible. So it also allows you to come up with um, new ideas that may help you get to those bigger goals. So here we are, we're in this state of dreaming big, of letting our mind expand, of feeling what it feels like to have all these things. This is about desire and, um, you know, what does it feel like if you reach this big goal? What would it feel like if you got to move into your dream house or you got your dream job or your dream partner? What does it feel like when you reach a victory that you've been, you know, dreaming about for years? Maybe it's, you know, going off to college, uh, you know, and actually going into a field that just makes you um, excited and, and passionate for. So let's see what energy we have. If, you know, if somebody told you that's so out of possibility for you, if you allow yourself to dream big right now, good things are going to happen. You know, I mean, I, you'll, you'll figure out a way. Okay. Ooh, look who shows up. The high priestess. So, you know, this may be a time to not share your deepest desires with everyone with the world <clears throat> in fact I, I tell people that all the time when they say you know like for manifesting don't share anything with anybody um, unless it's somebody who you know is going to be supportive because what happens um, even if you think your friend is the most supportive person on the planet um, all it takes is just a hint of doubt and all of a sudden it's like poof they just become nothing but stars. So dreams become nothing more than just an illusion. You need to keep your your um, your ideas, your um, your dreams to yourself until things start to materialize. So here with this high priestess energy coming in, you're going to get the information you need to succeed. You're going to get that information um, that will lead you in the right direction. You're going to see the the you know um, the markers on the path for you. But keep in mind, like this this high priestess, you can see she's keeping her herself here kind of contained. You know, she's not sharing a lot with the world. She's not telling her best friend, you know, the sign that she's getting from the universe. She's just sort of 
letting things play out. She has her dream here and she's letting the universe sort of guide her gently, picking up the signs, knowing when to act, knowing when to hold back. That's the other thing. I mean, not every opportunity needs to be jumped on or seized on at this moment. So keep in mind, you know, right now is a time to start thinking about what you want. Start dreaming really big. <clears throat> Excuse me, dream as big as you can. You know, don't hold back. Keep your, your dreams to yourself, but pay attention to what you're getting from the universe. Pay attention to those signs. And now, you know, and I put the rabbit here. You know, the rabbit, the rabbit is all about fertility. You know, it's about bringing new things to life, right? And, and um, expansion and abundance. So keep in mind here, you know, this is a symbol for expanding your horizons, you know, of bringing in new abundance. And you know, we have the bat and she, you know, she's so focused on her environment and picking up clues and picking up signals, you know. So let's see what advice we have. Ah, oh, great. We have, and then we have uh, more bats here with the Ace of Swords. And so this is about cutting through, you know, rising up and cutting through any chatter, cutting through the noise so that you can create the path that you want to create. You have, it's about getting a clear vision too. I mean, you've got to get complete clarity when you're dreaming, when you're dreaming big, it's one thing to dream big and know exactly what you want. Envision what the job looks like. What does it feel like when you walk you know, perhaps through the doors, or what does it feel like when you're working from home in your job, um, as the case may be? What does your new home look like? What does your partner, you know, um, you know, what what energy do they bring to your relationship? You've got to get a complete, clear vision for exactly what you want. That is going to help you when you when you get these downloads. It's going to help you recognize um, the signs. It's going to help you like really understand what the universe is sending to you because you know if you don't have a clear vision if you don't understand with complete and utter like clarity what it is that you want the universe may be sending you signs and you may not understand them or pick them up so this is a time to get clear it's a time to um just pay attention to to all that is around you um we have <clears throat> excuse me, this Ace of Swords is cutting through. You have the victory wreath up here. Um, you know, this is a time for success. This is not a time to be playing small. This is not a time to be a, you know, um, shrinking violet. This is a time to expand, to fly. You have these bats flying um, through the sky, through the night sky. <sighs> yeah, we have a little cricket down here for good luck and prosperity. So, you know, guys, I just pay attention. And I get with this one too, we have the moonflowers, which bloom at night. Pay attention to your dreams. You know, if you're getting uh, some crazy dreams lately, which I think we all have, right? I mean, we've all been uh, part of this whole quarantine thing is like uh, COVID dreams. I mean, crazy dreams. Um, pay attention to what, what, is said to you during those dreams. Pay attention to where you are and what you're doing um, because the inspiration just may come up at night and that might be where you find that clarity. So we have, we also have two crescent moons here. So things may not be fully illuminated. You may have to really pay attention, use your sonar, like how the bats use their sonar um, and just Pick up the clues, like pay attention to the energy around you as well. So overall, though, what a beautiful, beautiful spread for Thursday morning. It's uh, July 2nd. And again, here we're looking at dreaming big. Allow yourself time to fantasize. Oh, my God, if it's a beautiful sunny day where you are, go lay out in the grass, stare up at the clouds. Um, or if you're lucky enough to have clear skies in the evening and it's warm, go lay out in the field and stare at the stars, right? What, what do you want from this life? But remember, your place here is on earth, so stay grounded. 
don't share everything. You don't, you know, there's no need to like share all of your deepest desires with the world. You know, keep things a little bit more in, um, enclosed right now, but pay attention to the, the signals that you get because a high priestess is coming and she is there to guide you. And just know that you are going to rise up. You're going to find success in whatever it is that you're dreaming about, but you have to find the clarity first. So much love, peace, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.